Hey guys, welcome. If you clicked on this video, chances are you are either just getting into car camping or you've been car camping before and are looking for a few items to make your life just a little bit easier. And you are in the right spot. Today, I am going to take you through some of the car camping essentials that I use every single day on the road. And the best part, they're under $30. To make this flow as smoothly as it can, we're going to break it up by category and start with kitchen gear. So first up, we have this little backpacking stove. This guy is the source of a lot of debate on my page because I'm a fair weather cooker and refuse to cook outside if it's windy or rainy or snowy. So I use this guy instead and I love it. Like I said, I use it frequently and it's super easy to use. It folds out and holds a pan on top, which I'll show you in a second. And then it has this little built-in lighter twist, push the red button and it starts right up. I've used it at all elevations, which is sometimes a concern for some people on whether it'll function at higher elevations, and it does. Uh, this is the Soda Windmaster. You do not have to get this one. I bought this because I do a lot of hiking, so I wanted something that was proven and very lightweight, so this fit the bill. But like I said, backpacking stove in general, and you are set. All right, if you have the stove, you need the pan. So I have the Tokes Titanium 900 milliliter. This one was a little bit more expensive, but again, I use this for hiking as well and weight was key. So I was willing to invest just a little bit more money to get something lighter weight. However, any old small pan will do. You don't have to get this. I do store my propane right inside the pan, which makes it excellent for space saving. And also one other cool thing about this, it does have measurements inside. All right, next up, we have the Sporks. Now, something really cool and unique about these is they have a very long handle, which is excellent if you have a big pan and you don't wanna get your hands all disgusting. So, I highly recommend getting a long handle spork, not just any spork, long handle. All right, next up we have this little milk frother. I love this because it's super light. It only takes a battery. I don't have to plug it into anything and it will mix literally anything. I have used it for protein powder, I've used it for hot chocolate, and it has had no problems. Next up, we have the GSI Outdoors Knife Set. If you buy one thing from this video, I recommend this. It comes in this convenient carrying case with three knives, a cutting board, a washcloth, a little uh, container for soap. It's excellent. The knives are very sharp. I haven't had an issue and I haven't had to sharpen them at all, and I've used them every day for six months. I already know I'm gonna get some funny comments about this one. So this is a Talenti jar, but I highly recommend just getting some screw top plastic containers. They are virtually indestructible. They're great for storing food and they're super easy to clean. I just pour water in, shake it up, pour the water out, wipe it clean with a disinfecting wipe and I am good to go. So if you really wanna enjoy the buying experience, go get the Talenti jar and eat the ice cream or you can just order some on Amazon. That is all the kitchen gear. So now we're going to move on to the just in case category. So first up, we have the water filter. This is a Sawyer squeeze. It comes with all of this nice stuff, which I have never touched because what I do is I just put a smart water bottle top on the top of the filter and I screw my smart water bottle with the dirty water on the bottom and I just drink right through this. I also have a carbon monoxide detector. This is not super imperative, but I like to have it just in case, like I said. I do occasionally leave my car running while I fall asleep because it has an automatic shut off. And so I wanna have this to make sure I don't die. Next is a fire extinguisher. It's very self-explanatory, but I also find that a lot of people forget to pack one. So just stick a small fire extinguisher in your car and you're set. It gives you a lot of peace of mind. These last items don't really fit into a category, so I'm just going to throw these in here. First up, a small lantern. This particular one is the black diamond Moji, I wanna say. It has this little hanging hook and it's fairly bright when the batteries aren't almost dead. And I use this as my sole light source in the car. So it's pretty, pretty bright. All right, we're rounding out the items right now. We have the folding knife, which is a pole action knife. It's very large. I've used this to saw through some sizable logs and it's done well. It's also very inexpensive. So just keep it in your car in case you need some firewood. All right, next is a headlamp. Doesn't have to be anything super fancy if you're just going to be using it around the car. I have a Petzl. I also have a black diamond. I like the black diamond a lot better than this Petzl. I find that this one isn't very bright. So that's just an extra. 
I guess I do have one more category for you guys. I don't know exactly what to call this, but I'm going to call it the relief category. First, we have a trowel. You can see where this is going. I use this to dig cat holes if I'm in the woods and not around a restroom. I think if you've been camping before, you know the horror of pulling up to a campsite and seeing certain things on the ground that you really don't want to see. So please leave no trace, dig a hole. All right, and for all the ladies out there, I have two things that will make your life much better whenever you're out in the middle of nowhere and have to use the restroom. This is technical terms, female urination device. It's just a funnel. It works very well. And the other item is this Kula cloth. The informal name is pea cloth and it just is this little antibacterial, antimicrobial cloth. This is clean, I promise, and it saves a lot of toilet paper. So just hook it on your backpack or whatever, keep it in your car, and it can make your life a lot better in the backcountry. Those are all the items I have for you today. So if you have some other suggestions of car camping must-haves that are inexpensive, please share them down below. And with that, I will see you next time. This is the source of a lot of debate on my page because... Really? What? No. Stop, we have... Did I just... We're okay. Twist this little red thing. Twist the... I think it's double-toothed. Oh, it's sharp. <laughs> What's happening?